Dustin has just hit the golf ball 25 yards further with his driver and got rid of his slice. If you want to hit the golf ball further and straighter, you need to check this lesson. Let's see you hit some Dustin. We've got the driver in play. Let's yep. see what you've got. We've got a full swing there. And that's the end of the lesson. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> ripped it. See that one versus the first one felt very high on the face. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Functional, isn't it? It's kind of going to be on the fairway, but you've definitely lost a ton of yardage with that. Yeah. So here's the thing, Dustin. Your setup and your golf swing is actually pretty good. It's pretty much as good as it gets for hitting an iron. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're hitting a driver, so what we're going to do is let's just jump over there. Let's just actually show you and show everyone else what's going on here. So what I mean by that, if we think about an iron, what do we have with an iron? Well, we have a narrower stance than a driver. We have a hitting down action almost with that iron. Now with the driver, we don't really want that to optimize it. So if we look at your setup, we can see quite a narrow stance. The ball is forward, which is good, but it's quite a narrow stance. And we can see that your upper body is actually tilted too much towards the target. The lead shoulder is sticking outside of the box there. Now, as soon as we do this, when it comes to the golf shot, it's gonna be very easy for us to hit down. We can even see when you're striking the golf ball that that club shaft is leant forward and your shoulder is still pushing through that line there. This is great for hitting down, but not so good for optimizing the driver. And when we're doing this move as well, when we're swinging sort of down like this, it's very easy to lose it out to the right. Now I know that you do have every now and then a shot that goes to the left, yeah. but that's more of a compensation to the consistent and predominant right shot. So if you're losing the golf ball to the right and losing distance, this video might be for you. So the goal for me here, and for us is to get you hitting the golf ball less to the right, so bring it in a lot, but also let's get it further. I mean, I don't know, Andy, we're quite bold when we do these statements, but I'm thinking like 10, 15 yards further on carry is definitely achievable. Yeah, let's take a look at some of the numbers here. Yeah, this, is, this is what we want to improve. Look so you, just to there, give you yeah. an idea, we've got average carry is 249. The spin rate, which is this, this is the killer, spin rate is 3,750. And the launch angle, sorry, three and a half thousand average spin rate. The last one was 3,750. The average launch angle is 8.2. So we've got a really low launch, very high spin. That's just killing all, all of your distance. So, Piers, just go through what we're looking for in a good setup and actually what would that would, should do for impact and then we'll go into yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so there's a couple of things we're going to actually add to this as well. We may need to look at how you're teeing the golf ball up and we may even need to look at the spec with the driver. But look, what we're after, we're kind of after a ball position like you've got. I like your ball position just inside the lead heel, but what I definitely want to see is that this trail foot is getting further away. So we're going to widen the stance. Straight away when we do that then, now the feeling is that we need to be a little bit more tilted. And, you've, and you're nodding your head because you're going, oh yeah, I know, I can see it, I can see it. But we want to be able to get this right shoulder a little bit more lower than the left and get this left shoulder away from this edge of the box here. So as soon as we are here with ball forward, wide stance and tilted more like this, we now have permission to hit that golf ball a little bit more on the up. And that we're going to see that attack angle jump up. Did we say attack angle before? Average was about two and a half down, was it? 2.1 down. 2.1 down. So hopefully we can get the attack angle a little bit more on the way up. We'll explain how we're going to do that in a moment. Hopefully the launch, well, the launch will definitely go up. And then from there, the spin will go down. Okay. That's the plan. That's the plan. I'm going to let you carry on with this same T that you're using at the moment. So what we're going to do, we're going to get you to widen the stance. I and mean, let's do our old K-bomb drill, Andy. This is a great drill for us that we've used over the years. Trail hand on the thigh, slide it down an inch, and then bring your hand into the side of the golf club. And we'll see where you are then. Okay. It's gonna feel weird. When you're here now, so look at that ball, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Mm -hmm. What feels like it's gonna happen for you now? I feel like I'm just gonna hit it straight in the air. Straight in the air, yeah. straight in the air. Straight up. And, and that's fine, as long as we're hitting it straight in the air and there's not three and a half thousand spin on it. Yeah. But if we can get that spin down to two and a half thousand and we're hitting it straight in the air, that's gonna be beautiful. So I'll tell you what, step away. Just a quick, a quick one as well. The average apex of this is 77 feet. So okay. as a guide, you know, 100 feet plus on the driver's good, providing that spin yeah. is low, really. Yeah, yeah. Let's, say, let's hit one. Let's get into it. I like it. A little wider as well. I'm going to see. I, get I said to you when go. you were just talking to the viewers, we're going to spend the whole lesson probably saying yeah, wider, yeah. wider. That's okay though. Oh. That makes sense. We're probably going to do something like that to start with. Okay. That's okay. Just quickly on that one, mm -hmm. say that if I were to tell you that was an amazing golf swing, yeah. and you go, well, I topped it. What could we do different? Oof. T height. T. 
Okay. Because your tea is actually quite low. Now, so your friend and my friend Jack is giving you these teas. Jack, these are no good because we need something. Look at these ones. We've got these teas at the Grand here. Okay. Quite a bit bigger. So I'm just going to go straight to this now. I'm actually going to get straight ahead. The fact that you topped that one to start with, yeah. that's green light for me to tee it up higher. There we go. I like the stance now. It's nice and wide. Beautiful. All right. I like that. Okay, good. We have to notice there, quite high. Yeah. Looked like there might have been a lot of spin on it, potentially. Yeah. The attack angle was less than one degree down, though, so that's good. Okay, that was nice. Again, it's just sort of spinning a bit. Launch 10.6, Andy. So we're now launching it in a higher window, which is good. Okay. Attack angle, 0 0.2. So close to zero as opposed to 2.1 down average before. That's really we're in, good. We're moving in the right direction. Spin, Is there a far too high. attack angle you should be going after? I'd like to get you at one. Okay. As long as we can control the spin, that would be nice, but it can be anything from, it can be down, mm -hmm. but we have to understand, someone like Sergio Garcia in his prime was down, but the thing is, if you can hit down, if you swing it at 120 miles an hour, and okay. you've got all that speed, and it's about, you know, I just want to be accurate, but swing it at 107, 108, 109 like yourself, let's, let's just show you what distance looks like, okay. and then you can decide from there. So remember the goal now, we can keep on going, the goal now is to take out the right shot. Yep. Yeah. That's the goal here. There you go. Oh, that one felt good. There you go. Now that's that's what we're looking to see. Beautiful nice? ball yeah. flight. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess what you're gonna say here. I would say that you you felt that was quite solid. Yeah. So it felt like a solid hit. Yeah. But obviously it's just gone far too high. 3.2 degrees up with an 18 launch at 3,200. I, I think now, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to just go into the club, Andy. So it's 10 so, and a half currently. So it's 10.5. Standard, at the standard sleeve. And it's a standard sleeve. We're just gonna get this and we are going to de-loft it. This should really increase speed and distance when we do this. So I've got, I've actually knocked it three notches down all the way down to its lowest setting. I'm gonna go all the way and just see where we're at. Now, what we have to understand is as well, when we change, when we make the face more de-lofted, we actually open the face a little bit. Yeah. So we have to bear that in mind with the right misses, but we'll see that it can still work in your favor by having a slightly open face at setup, because it might mean that you can fully commit to a release as yeah. well. But let's just hit some shots. All right. Still got the fade, which you actually quite like. 2.2 yeah. .2 degrees up with a spin of 2,600. Now, launch angle was still a little low. It's a little That's low. That's okay, but the spin now, what we're starting to see, the spin's gonna come down, which, yeah. is, which is really important. <laughs> see how it's going as well, that yeah. now? Launch angle's at 10 degrees. So it's still on the lowest side. Three degrees up, 2,600 on the spin. That was your best shot. Yeah, that one felt good. Maybe still a little low. Okay. There you go. It's probably still spinning maybe a fraction, but the launch was way better on that one. I mean, just to give you an idea, just a quick one on this one, you've hit that 11.7 launch, 2.7 spin, 2.63 carry. That's, that's... Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that's so much better. 91 feet, okay? Remember, your average, your average earlier was like 70-something. Yeah. Not That shot that you've hit there is by far the best one, but the numbers on that are great as well. I mean, that's so good. That's the shot. Yeah, oh. that one felt. Are you sure that's right not going to be? Center. It's going to be okay. Okay, let's just have a look at the numbers on this. Wow, so long. So um, two three spin, eleven point three launch, one point six attack angle. So that there is carry. I would say two sixty eight. Two sixty nine carry. So there's the there's the longest one so far because you're again a much better strike on that one. You now, especially with, imagine how simple this is. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking about swing and things like this. All you've got to do, wide stance, K-bomb, tee it high, and smash it down the left side of the yeah. fairway. Yeah. Golf for you now is simple. Whereas before, it was like, where's it going to go? Oh. oh now, I mean, that's gone, I'm going to say that's going to be close to 280 carry. That's, da that's danger of hitting the range down the bottom. It wasn't 280, it was still 270 carry, but great, like such good numbers. You were like 2.4 spin, 11.6. That's the, that's the height right there. That's such a different flight. 88 feet, so getting closer to, getting closer to that 100 mark. That looks probably high to you. Yeah, McElroy's is about 130. Yours like 90, so it's 40 feet higher. And that looks high to you, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks very high. Yeah. 
So what a difference we have here. We can see a much wider stance. We can see we've got that cave on with the spine angle tilted back, the right shoulder lower, getting away from that lead line. Now, as he gets to the top of the backswing, again, we can see we weren't, weren't sure this was gonna happen, but you are tilting your spine away from the target more, but this is where we're really seeing a big difference. As you're now striking the golf ball, we can now see your back of the line as opposed to getting into the line as you were doing with your iron driver swings before. <laughs> Massive improvements, well done, and you have to now start using these tees, right. longer tees. Amazing difference, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you will love this video right here, and don't forget to check out meandmygolf.com and download the Me and My Golf app for our best exclusive content. Thanks again.